Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I just wanted to share this altered book that I made. And I followed a tutorial by Marianne Kensington, aka Pocket Full of Vintage, here on YouTube. And thank you so much, Marianne, for your tutorial. It was very easy to follow, and I don't think I would have, you know, jumped in and tried this had I not seen you. Um, you know, do it in front of me because I'm a very visual person. So watching someone else do something, you know, just totally works for me. So I followed her tutorial pretty closely since this was the first time I'd done something like this. And so I didn't take too much artistic license the first time and I just wanted to kind of see how it all went together. And the book that I used is this one called Patience, a Daughter of the Mayflower. And it was one that was going to be thrown away. It had been stored in, in the barn. And um, I actually, I read it, but it, it wasn't very good. <laughs> but Patience, um, here's the one of the front pages. There's, there's Patience. And the book was actually published in uh, 1899. So that was really cool that it's such an old book. And Patience did uh, get to marry the man that she loved at the end of the book, so it had a happy ending. And anyhow, so I used this book, and I did um, ink around the edges, and I sprayed a little bit of um, Lindy Stamp Gang on here. Uh, I also uh, put some uh, Wild Orchid Craft flowers, some roses on here, a few little rosebuds. Um, and I have this metal plaque, Do All Things With Love. And... Um, I can't remember who does this, but if I think about it, I'll let you know if I remember. And then I just put a little bow on here. And on the bottom, I used um, a hand crochet doily by Tammy at Tatsy 2. Thank you, Tammy. Um, I wanted to use it on something special, and I thought that this book was it, since it's going to be something that I think is going to, you know, it's going to be around for a while. And so anyhow, um, here's the spine of the book. You can see my stitching. And in the back, I just um, ink the edges and put a little more glimmer spray. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, here's the inside and I reinforced the inside with some canvas type fabric that I had and just relined it with paper because the interior of the book pretty much it just fell out on its own. It was in pretty bad shape. And I'm going to put a title page on here and essentially this book is going to be all about baby ephemera. Uh, I do a lot of genealogy. I have a lot of um, baby pictures and baby announcements and baby shower cards and birth certificates and things from family. And some of the family is very removed from me and so people I haven't even met. But the ephemera is just so beautiful. I want to keep it and put it all in one place. So I'm slowly, I'm gathering it together. So this book isn't finished, but... Um, I've put some of it in here, and like this one, I had the envelope, so I put the envelope here um, so that I wouldn't damage the original uh, card. And here is the birth announcement, and this birth announcement is from 1949, and it's just really cute. And then where I could, I have a picture of the actual person whose birth announcement this is. So I had a picture of Nancy and put that on there, although I've never met Nancy, but she is my relative. And then here I did this little tuck. I did a lot of extra zigzag stitch sewing, just like Marianne showed in her tutorial. I also rounded all my edges and inked all my edges. And I don't have a bunch of baby um, stamps or stickers, so... and. I, you know, I wish I would have had that Little Darlings paper I've seen people use, but I didn't have any of that, and I, I didn't want to buy anything. I bought absolutely nothing for this book. Um, I just used stuff that I had. So what I did was I went on my computer, and I looked at my digital embellishments, and I printed out all the little animals and stuff. So I've kind of scattered those um, throughout the book for decoration here. I've got a little frog, and I believe this is from... Uh, the Water's Edge uh, collection at Scrap Girls. 
And then this, I've just got a photo. This is a photo of my grandfather and then this baby buggy and stuff I thought was really cool. And these are like reprints from um, off my computer, not my original photos. Here I have another um, tuck. I have a horse from... Um, uh, Western Rodeo collection. I do have some smaller sheets and I have room to grow as I find uh, more stuff because I'm going to have to look through a lot of boxes of ephemera and stuff. It's another printout from my computer. That's my grandmother. This is her birth certificate and her birth announcement. Um, here's just room to grow. Here's a little um, birth announcement. And I did some cutouts. This is a cutout page and I just kind of put an image that would show through. And this one I did kind of, it's the, the tortoise and the hare and um, I just have a, a baby picture on this side and then I zigzag stitched along two sides to make this little pocket and then I just put in here um, birth announcements, birth certificates and um, you know, newspaper announcements and stuff that I had um, for him. And then just more room to grow. Another flap here that's just kind of folded and zigzag stitched on. Here's another uh, birth announcement from... This is from... It doesn't say what... Uh, 46, 1946. And then here's just a little baby bird image. This was a Scrap Girls freebie. So if you go to scrapgirls.com and sign up for their newsletter, you get freebies um, in each newsletter. And um, here is just a baby picture. I'm going to go and label who it is. It's another small sheet. Um, another birth announcement. And then this is the, the actual uh, picture of Ruth from the announcement and all these really pretty um, uh, gold stickers and stuff are all Dazzle stickers from Hot Off the Press and I like them because they're nice and flat instead of using brads anywhere I tried to to keep this um, as flat as possible. Here's just more room to grow. There's a couple more uh, birth announcements and then I'm going to try to find photos for them another little bird from Bird Song Collection. A few more birth announcements. Here's another place. I want to tuck a photo of my great-great-grandmother and this is her birth certificate. And here's another announcement. And here's the baby from that announcement. And she's in her little walker. Isn't that cute? She's so cute. And um, this, little, uh, this little guy. I have to talk to my mom about him the only name I know is that they called him Gunner, and from what I've heard, um, he looks like he was probably a preemie. Uh, he only lived a few months before he passed away, and probably this would have been in 1941. So, um, you know, if you had a preemie or whatever, you you just took it home from the hospital and you tried your best, and it didn't always... Um, you know, come out a happy ending, but um, he's sure a little cutie, and I want to make sure um, to put his information on there. And here's an envelope, and I left it as a pocket so I can um, hopefully put a, a photo for that birth announcement. Here's another one, the pocket. Here's a little um, little beaver, and when you turn this, he still kind of shows through the little window. These two cards are from Baby Showers. This one's in the in the little envelope. Baby Shower Invites. I like it. It was only four cents to send it in 1961. Here's a little room to grow. I did um, use my Martha Stewart Edge Punch and um, some border... Um, Rips and stuff just to, you know, kind of make the edges look a little different. Here's a little lamb from the Farmstead uh, digital stickers. Um, here's another photo of my grandfather and his um, sister. And then there's my grandfather's birth certificate. And then I have another picture of my grandfather. And I'm going to write, I still have to write the information and stuff on there. I'll probably put another photo right here.
since I, pro I have a lot of photos of him. And um, here he is again. He's sitting here, and there's one, two, three, four, five, five of his seven siblings here with him and that's why I said I have a lot of the birth announcements are from the children that these guys had so if each one of his siblings you know had three kids or whatever that's a lot of birth announcements and so we could never keep track of my mom could never keep track of all her cousins there was just too many of them so anyhow here's some more of those beautiful dazzle stickers and um, some of the papers I left the decorative edge they came with, and I just left the manufacturer's strip on the side. It's a little fawn um, from, uh, uh, I forget which collection. It's a digital sticker collection. I'll put a link to my store, and you can um, see all the images and stuff that are that are in there if you're interested in any of those. This is a, a baby picture and then her announcement. And then this one I have a little flap that opens up and these are all the same uh, baby. This one I let the little image show through the little heart cut out. A little bird here. And then this, I like this, we're safety pinners. I, I haven't ever heard anyone use that term anymore. It's an older, when is this? This is from 1943. So I thought that was pretty cute. Here I've just got another one that I've tucked behind here. Another little bird image. This one I put a little cluster of embellishments on here. And then there's the birth announcement. Again, this is just a printout from my computer. This isn't the original. Um, photo. And just more room to grow. This is there that's me. Aren't I lovely? And I'll probably find some more information and and put it of myself. I thought I had to uh include myself in there. It's a little chick that kind of shows through this cutout. It's another um I like that they used pink even though it's a boy. So, um there's little Gordon in his walker. I have a little horsey, another jumping horse, and another announcement. And it's kind of just the same stuff, just um, more flaps. More. This one's a really cute image. Again, pink, and it's a it's a boy announcement. I thought that was interesting. It's another little squirrel image. This is a K and Co um, overlay. Another Martha Stewart punch. Um, another newer, um, and I'll, I'll cover this up because she's actually still living. This is one of my cousin's daughter, and so it's a newer um, style of birth announcement. And then I want to put her name, or her um, photo, excuse me, there. And then I'll probably get gather and find a few more of my cousin's kids and put them in here and there's the end. I've got another pocket. And so that is my completed book. Wherever I sewed, I just kind of left the little tails um, hanging out. I kind of like the look of it. And um, it really has a good feel, a good size. It's not too thick. Um, when Marianne did hers, she was going to use it as a journal and I knew I was going to be gluing stuff inside, so I left out a couple sheets per signature just to give myself, um, you know, a little more room to add things and to grow because I knew it would expand just like a junk journal. And so anyhow, there is my finished book. And I will put a link to Marianne's tutorial and... Um, you know, please take a look at it. It'll give you the courage to give it a try. And um, I know uh, I didn't have any problems or anything, and I really had fun, and I'm so totally stoked to do a few more. So anyhow, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.